Why are we wasting time talking about gossip and aliens when we could be focusing on you and me? I'm an alien-human hybrid clone. <clears throat> what? So you're an alien-human hybrid clone who can regenerate. Babe, it sounds so crazy. So you're bulletproof now? Yeah. Welcome to the club. All right, team. We are stranded on the edge of the universe, and the only way out is to beat the pin killers. Question. Yes. I don't bowl. I don't either, but how hard can it be? Pretty sure you just pick it on up, and then we just roll it on down. What can I say? Guess I'm a natural. Games like these, it's up to the group to deliberate on who we think the beast is. And then it's up to all of us to vote on someone to accuse. Well, I accuse you. No. I think that you are so impressed with Ava's methodology that you wanted to eliminate their competition right from the start. <gasps> what are you doing here? How are you even alive? What a fantastically boring question. Kayla downloaded me from the cloud onto your printer. A better question would be why. Why shouldn't I just slit your throat and watch you bleed out on my carpet? <laughs> because then you wouldn't have any more of your questions answered. Until you print yourself out again. Alas, you're looking at the last gen me. My data was corrupted when a certain someone blew up my lab before my upload was complete. But that's cool. I forgive you. You kidnapped me. You manipulated me in every possible way. True, true. But I also saved you. No, no, not looking to make this about me. You see, I've changed. You've changed. And why should I believe you? Is that a lemon butter cream cake topped with maraschino cherries? Perfect. The cherries were Bishop's idea, but... Ooh, I love whatever these are. Yeah. Actually, that was all Bishop. Tapas? Yes, that's perfect. I love that idea. Oh. Well, I was actually thinking of more traditional, you know, meal service, but then he suggested tapas because they're more fun. They encourage conversation and help out the people stuck at the boring, boring table. <laughs> Bishop is, uh, he's pretty good at wedding planning, I guess. It's like he's reading my mind or something. It's not like that. It's 6% that's missing. It's you. He's 6% me? What the hell does that mean? You're not getting to Rory without getting through me. And let's be real, that's not gonna happen. You've got this all wrong. I don't want to hurt him. I want to help him. And why would I trust you? Because I am you. You wish. You know, they say when you fight yourself, you're destined to lose. Death me so last season. I knew you were twisted. But merging my DNA with yours, that is next level. You blew up my lab before I could finish my upload. I needed a few more ACG and T's to complete my genome. Yours were in the system. So I took them. We've got our friends, we've got our vows, and we've got four hours. What else do we need? I don't know, maybe for the world not to be ending? John told me the most important thing in life is loving someone and being loved. And if getting married is the last thing that we do together, then damn, I would be just fine with that. You have really gone to town with this what would Sarah Lance never do thing. Um, okay, let's do it. I don't, let's get married. Yeah! <laughs> Ava, the perfect woman. What could a mess like me ever have to offer someone as special as you? Can't exactly say it was love at first sight. <laughs> But you did look really good in that pantsuit. But the more that I got to know you, and I got to feel your kindness and your honesty, well, this heart, once so cold and guarded, it just it's melted. And Ava, it's because of you that I get to know what true love feels like. And so, today, here, in front of all of our friends, I want to make these vows to you. I will always be your champion, your lover. I will always be your family. And I will listen to you even when the words are hard to hear. And I will let you in even when I'm afraid. And I will support you. I will fight for you. And above all, Ava Sharp, I will love you. Sarah, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife till death do you part? I do. Do you, Ava, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife till death do you part? I do. By the power vested in me by the World Wide Web, I pronounce you wife and wife. I'll give you one last chance to leave and never come back. Found your younger self once and I'll do it again. And you, before you become the sad little deranged man you are now. I will blast each and every human on this stupid planet to bits, starting with all of you. I don't care how long it takes, you and I will be the only two left. Go! Let's kill me! I've screwed up.
crazy, isn't it? Imagine if our first day on the Wave Rider, we traveled to this moment, this house, and we saw me, a captain with a wife, and you with 48 kids. 49, and a grandbaby on the way. I don't think we would have recognized ourselves. No, well, gotta move forward, I guess, to the next job with a new partner. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. You know you'll always have a home on the Wave Rider. But I guess you'll be busy taking care of 48 punks. Well, I've learned a thing or two about handling punks. What did you do it for six years? What's this? It's a bridal bouquet. That means you're next. 